All right, boys and girls. The Children's Guild is proud to offer two IB schools to students and their families. The IB stands for International Baccalaureate Primary Years Program, and so our elementary students are all a part of that PYP program. We are an authorized IB school, an IB world school. And so what that means is that we challenge students to think differently and critically, um, and also to be self-motivated and advocate um, for what they, the way they learn best, um, advocate for their own curiosity, and to understand that they are a part of a world that is bigger than themselves. Monarch Academy Annapolis is the only IB school in the county that is open for any elementary student in Anne Arundel County to apply. We are a choice school. We are open, so that means that you can uh, go with it through open enrollment through Anne Arundel County Public Schools and you can choose us. Uh, here at Annapolis, um, we try to make sure that, like I said, that our curriculum is good, we're accredited, and you can go in and be a part of our journey with the creativity of our students, making sure that we continue to help them grow. All right, let's think for a minute. As for the advantages of IB schools, there are many. The, the biggest advantage is it starts with our pre-K. Um, one of the things that we focus on is the ability to be creative and it gives those young minds the opportunity to start here from us first, first go at school with an open mind and creativity and just be themselves. If you're wondering how an IB curriculum is executed, think of four to six educational units, depending on the grade level, taught throughout the year, each one in six-week segments. And we follow a central idea, which is kind of like the overarching um, you know, goal that we want children to learn, and then we break that overarching goal into like lines of inquiry. We have essential questions for each line of inquiry. We have a conceptual, debatable, and a factual question that guides our instruction throughout the week. What is the difference between a want and a need? What really separates an IB curriculum from a traditional school is that the learning of the central idea doesn't stop when it's time to change subjects. Scarcity, hi. So the unit that the first grade team does um, about homes they were learning about culture, um, homes in different areas, then they had their engineering standard in science, they were building their homes, they were reading about homes, they were writing about homes. Um, so when we build the curriculum, we build it around a central idea and certain key concepts. You really do give your kids the rigor. I think it allows for them to truly be able to access uh, grade level standards as they matriculate through. And what you will find is because of the writing components that are required in there, that really does prepare our students as they get ready to do their senior level work, their applications to whatever their post-secondary options are. They've already have a jump start on a lot of other students just because of the rigor of what is expected with reading and comprehension and writing. 